Where does methane come from on Mars? It is probably released into the atmosphere through pressure changes. The first traces of methane on Mars were detected by the Mars Express probe in 2004. In the following years, this gas was registered by, among others, Curiosity rover. Methane attracts attention because on Earth it is produced by living organisms which fires the imagination of those looking for extraterrestrial life, but methane can also be generated by geological processes. Scientists have not yet fully known the mechanisms by which it appears in the atmosphere of Mars. Now they claim they have found an explanation to this mystery. And the answer lies in fluctuations in atmospheric pressure. Astrobiologists are enthusiastically following reports about methane on Mars. On Earth, most methane is produced by living organisms. And any detection of this gas outside our planet ignites the imagination of seekers of extraterrestrial life. But methane can also come from chemical reactions between rocks and water. Methane molecules decay rapidly in the atmosphere. So any detection of methane means that it must have been released relatively recently. Even if it was produced millions or billions of years ago and has been deposited beneath the surface until now. The first traces of methane in the Martian atmosphere were recorded by the Mars Express spacecraft shortly after it began research in 2004. This detection has been the subject of controversy in the scientific community. The main discussion was about the accuracy of the readings. Many scientists have questioned studies that relied on a single data set. The atmosphere was heated by the Curiosity rover, which also detected methane on Mars in 2013. Since then, this gas has been detected many times on the Red Planet. But scientists cannot determine what exactly is its source. Scientists know that gas concentrations decrease during the Martian winter and increase in the summer. They also know that there are large deposits of ice under the surface of Mars. One idea to explain the detection of methane on Mars was that ice melts in the summer, releasing trapped methane bubbles just as permafrost on Earth releases methane into the atmosphere as it melts. But scientists at Los Alamos National Laboratory have proposed a different mechanism for methane to appear in Mars' thin atmosphere. According to them, even quite high concentrations of methane on Mars periodically detected, are probably caused by changes in atmospheric pressure. The results and description of the research were published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, Planets. Short-term fluctuations in methane concentration levels in the Martian atmosphere pose a research challenge. Its source is probably underground. Scientific instruments currently on the Red Planet do not allow us to determine how Martian methane was created. Regardless of whether this gas was produced by living organisms or by geological processes, scientists are interested in the mechanisms by which it appears on the surface of Mars. This knowledge may allow us to locate its deposits which in turn will facilitate research into its biological or geological origin. According to researchers from Los Alamos National Laboratory, 
methane may be released from underground deposits as a result of a drop in atmospheric pressure. In other words, it can be pulled out from under the surface of the red planet as a result of pressure changes. This topic was dealt with by John Ortiz from Los Alamos National Laboratory. He and his team developed models that simulated the flow of methane through a network of subsurface cracks. They also simulated the way this gas is emitted into the atmosphere. Researchers also modeled how methane is adsorbed in rock pores, which is a temperature-dependent process that may contribute to fluctuations in methane levels in the atmosphere. Simulations suggest that changes in air pressure and temperature determine the moment of methane escape. Based on this, the models predict that higher gas concentrations should occur most often just before dawn during the Martian summer. During the day, methane either escapes to higher altitudes or is destroyed. Collecting atmospheric samples requires so much power that Curiosity cannot run other instruments at the same time. Therefore, Measurements are performed sporadically, mainly at night. Our work suggests several key time windows in which Curiosity can collect data. Perhaps in the future this will bring us closer to understanding the source of methane on Mars, Ortiz said.